All right, Miles Clay here with Darian Abbott from DDS. Uh, you won, I, I want to say, the second heat of the the 110s? Um, the first heat. The first heat, okay, correct me. Um, take us through that race. Uh, was it a clean race, was it not, and, and kind of how you feel about it? Okay, um, starter, well, I got a good start already. after like the fifth hurdle. I started getting a little tired, so I started knocking over a couple hurdles, but it didn't stop me from three-stepping, so I was able to finish the race without falling or messing up at all. Yo, hitting hurdles and then going to four or five steps. Yeah. It, it makes it even tougher. Um, what are some of the things you've been working working on in practice, uh, technique or whatever, uh, to kind of get your hurdle uh, better to where it needs to be by the end of the season? Um, my speed, definitely. And then uh, my speed, like in general, and then my speed over the hurdle. And then I need to fix my arms because my coach said that they're all over the place right now. <laughs> so I need to keep them like by my, by my side so that I'm not losing time over the hurdle. Yeah, when coaches say that, usually they're right on point with that. Yeah. Um, but middle of the season, I guess kind of gearing toward district and then the postseason, uh, plenty of time to fix it. What are some of the, your favorite drills that you do uh, in early practice that you think kind of helps prepare you for a race day? Um, okay, so like the step overs, it's like basically a warm up for my hurdles. It's like a step over, so you're getting over quick and you're keeping your arms by your and side. And the final and, results um, of the boys' varsity so shot put. Just to um, in third like place, simulate this over the, the hurdle, Hosnia how fast you're supposed to be going and where your arms are supposed Michael. to be. Second place, right, Ethan so ask, Sanders you get into San Antonio. Um, let's see, I started and in like first the first year I could hurdle. So it was at like 80 meter hurdles. I think I was like 11. 11. And three quarter it inches. was at uh, USA Track Meet. Right, so yeah, you've been doing this for a while. Yeah. Okay. Like, I mean, I didn't start getting serious about like practicing and stuff until like this year, last year. Cause when I was at Junior Olympics last year, I saw those kids in 15, 16s, like they were flying, they were running 14s and stuff. So I just started Carter, getting serious about my ready. Uh, hurdles this year. Okay, all right, well, I, I, I envy hurdles, hurdlers, cause I, I did it once and I kind of hit it like you did out there, but it was way worse than that. So I never tried it again. Yeah, I've uh, fallen so, multiple times. Yeah, like, so you're braver than I am. You keep getting back up and, and getting at it and you make it look that easy. Um, but are you a uh, dual hurdler or are you just one tandy? Uh, yeah, I do 300 too. Okay. Right. I mean, in uh, summer track, I do the 400 hurdles. Yeah. All right. So are you uh, three, doing 300 a little bit later? Yes, I am. All right. Which one do you like the most? Or, um, I mean, which one do you think you're better at? I'm, I'm not sure about which one I'm better at, but I definitely like the 300 hurdles more just because really? of the space that you have in between the hurdles to jump. I feel like it's less of a chance to fall because the hurdles are also lower. And yeah, it's just better because I feel like I'm better pace-wise than just straight speed-wise. Do you share that same affinity in the 400 hurdles? <laughs> nah, the, four, the, yeah, the 400 hurdles are different. I, it's like a totally different race from the 300 hurdles with the extra 100. All right, so I usually, is up. In the 300 hurdles, I can keep a good pace the whole race, but for the 400 hurdles, I'll be dead tired by the 100. Yeah, just another 100 meters, but I think two extra hurdles, which... Yeah. Yeah. But hey, man, congratulations on a good race. Thank you. And um, we look forward to your 300s. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.